Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twins and Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. There's a divine masculine who's very close to contacting divine feminine in this reading. I see messages here, text message, receiving a message, divine feminine's end, there's receiving a message, divine mask masculine sending a message or giving a call to someone. I see here that is connected to divine feminine. This has to do with um, reconnecting, starting a new beginning, building together. This is to create, uh, there's creating abundance so abundance could be like um, material abundance could be like happiness love um, prosperity anything it's basically building something together building a life together and it's abundant this phone call that divine masculine um, they are thinking about they are thinking very it's like they're so close to reaching out to Divine Feminine. There's something about an offer, offering a new relationship. Um, I see wish fulfillment. There could be even a proposal here. Um, there could be talks about marriage. If this Divine Masculine doesn't reach out to propose to Divine Feminine, their intention is to, to have some kind of commitment with Divine Feminine. It's just that they don't want to rush into it. It's like, as soon as I connect with Divine Feminine, like the realistic approach is that they reconnect with you talk to you um get to know what your feelings are because they want to make sure that that before they express their love to you fully they want to make sure that you feel the same and then they're going to talk about a future together about commitment marriage proposal that kind of thing but i see the intention of this divine masculine starting this this conversation with divine feminine is for a future with divine feminine they want a new beginning. I see here a new beginning, having strength and confidence to move forward towards divine feminine. They're tired of the separation. They're tired of the distance. Some of you are, are at physical distance. Like you're not even in the same state or country. You guys are long distance from each other. They're tired of the separation. They're tired of their own pride. This Divine Masculine is quite upset with their own pride and ego getting in the way. They feel like they are the cause for the for the uh, distance. So it's not just the physical distance, but emotionally they feel like they pushed you away. They know that they've been unfair to you. When they think about how they treated you in the past, they feel really sad. They cry. I see here they're crying about the way they treated you because they knew that the way they treated you was very unfair. They feel like they were unjust. They were not um they were not fair to you. They didn't treat the connection fairly. Their reasoning was not correct, meaning that Whatever reason they gave, they tried to defend themselves as if it was the right thing to do, but they know that it wasn't. They know that they were being dishonest to self and to you. They're thinking about the past, the past. They wish they can do this over again. They wish they have a re redo. They listen to the wrong people. This divine masculine listened to the wrong people. They took sides. When it comes to family, they took sides. They, they chose family over divine feminine here.
They know that they've hurt your feelings. They wish that they can make things right. They're trying to get over what they did to you. There's a lot of regret here, a lot of sadness here. I see that the family members, they were with, with Divine Masculine for the reason of, um, because of their financial situation. This Divine Masculine is quite successful in some ways. And these family members took advantage of Divine Masculine, um, keeping you distant from, keeping Divine Masculine and you distant from each other was a way of getting themselves closer to Divine Masculine's abundance, success. This could be their finances. They knew that if you were part of their life, they wouldn't have access to these things. Every time they talked about restoring their connection with you or to have reunion, when they mentioned this to the family members, they didn't want any part of this. They tried to discourage Divine Masculine from talking to you. They discouraged Divine Masculine from reaching out to you. They tried to make Divine Masculine feel like something would go wrong. They try to convince Divine Masculine that if you choose Divine Feminine, things will not be the same, that you will lose what you currently have. They try to put uh, seeds of doubt, plant seeds of doubt. The more false that was being spoken, the more true it sounded. So the more false that Divine Masculine would hear from these family members, the more true it would sound and the more true um, it would feel. So this Divine Masculine started to feel some sort of fear when it comes to reaching out to you. It's like maybe they are right. Maybe what they're saying is true. Maybe I will lose other things. Maybe I will lose it all if I reach out to Divine Feminine or reconnect with Divine Feminine. But now in this reading, coming back to the beginning, they are finding the courage, the confidence to reach out to Divine Feminine. This will come as a surprise. It will come in form of a conversation phone message, text message, some cases an email. They're really thinking about it this time, but I do see, see them taking action eventually, even if they're just thinking about it at this point. There's going to be gossip. People are going to be talking about Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. They're going to be talking about Divine Masculine reaching out to Divine Feminine. One more thing I see here that this reconnect with Divine Feminine is going to shake things up a lot with the family. They're going to have, there's going to be restrictions here, meaning that Divine Masculine will no longer give them access to certain things. Um, they're not going to have special like privileges. They're not going to have much say. Um, once Divine Feminine re-enters Divine Masculine's life, there's going to be more, um, I feel like, the divine masculine's life will be more um clear like things are more set in place it's not going to be scattered right now it, it looks like it's scattered because a lot of people have things to say or to um they have access to certain things or they contribute um in conversations where when they're not really needed this divine masculine will have have divine feminine who will who will provide advice, who will be Divine Masculine's pillar. And this is what 
these family members or these people do not want to see. This divine feminine will actually be a strength for divine masculine to do things on their own for once and not have have the family to lean on for advice or for guidance. This divine masculine will have the strength to do things on their own and this means that it's going to take away from these these people. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please leave a comment below. Give a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Bye.